Hi, I'm Phil Frisbee, Public Information Officer for Caltrans District 1. Learning more about the sustainable approach and care that has gone into the Willits Bypass Project offers special insight into Caltrans' application of contemporary and world-class engineering practices. This is definitely not our grandfather's way of designing or constructing a highway. Every major project Caltrans develops follows a rigorous process of environmental consideration and review that directly shapes every aspect of a project, from the various alternatives analyzed during the planning phase to the way Caltrans ultimately minimizes and then compensates for any unavoidable construction impacts to the natural environment. Our mitigation plans, which show the improvements we will make, must meet or exceed any potential impacts to the environment or to any endangered species. Finalized in 2012, Caltrans developed a mitigation and monitoring proposal that outlines how unavoidable project impacts will be offset. Much of the proposed mitigation plan includes the establishment, reestablishment, and rehabilitation of wetlands and other waters which have been impacted by human activities over the last 100 years. The proposal seeks to compensate for the project's wetland impacts by enhancing over 1,400 acres, establishing 50 acres of new wetlands, restoring several miles of riparian habitat along stream banks and threatened salmon habitat, and also improving water quality in several of the streams in the Lake Valley, which is a headwaters to the Eel River. For example, culverts on Hale and Up Creeks will be removed, opening the headwater sections of these creeks to spawning fish. Two culverts on Ryan Creek will be replaced with new natural bottom culverts, allowing juvenile Southern Oregon, Northern California Coast coho salmon, a threatened species, to seek summer rearing habitat, greatly increasing the species' long-term survival outlook. And this is very important to uh, helping the, the species uh, be, be able to recover and, and become, um, uh, increase their numbers enough to hopefully uh, remove this, this run from the endangered species list. Along all creeks within the mitigation properties, invasive non-native plants will be removed and replaced with native plants. Managed grazing will be used to control invasive non-native plants and will also promote the health of the rare Baker's Meadow Foam plant. Fencing will be installed along all the creeks within the mitigation properties, keeping cattle out of the creeks. This further increases water quality and fisheries habitat. We will use the grazing that the, uh, the cattle do to help keep down the invasive species that would otherwise outcompete the meadow foam. Caltrans will be leasing the mitigation properties to the ranchers so that the uh, grazing that they will be doing on the properties not only gives them their continued livelihood, but at the same time is the management tool to promote the expansion and the protection of the Baker's Meadow Foam. The Willits Bypass has undergone significant study and analysis using an up-to-date process with sustainability in mind. Caltrans invites you to take a deeper look into our work in developing this project. For the latest on the Willits Bypass project, please visit willitsbypass.wordpress.com.